about to announce the uh, boxing clinics event of the year in 2017. Um, it's Gennady Golovkin versus Canelo Alvarez. Well, Canelo Alvarez versus Gennady Golovkin to be technical. Well, we all know who number one middleweight was before the fight. Um, it won. It beat out uh, McGregor Mayweather. Um, you know, the super flyweight two card, which I thought was underrated. And should have got a little bit more votes than the guy. Beat out Kell Brook, Earl Spence. Um, and a couple more, you know. Um, I think... Uh, I think the the uh the anti Joshua Klitschko it was close, but Canelo and Triple G edged them out. This the Boston Clinic and your boy CJ Goodfella. And uh don't forget, I'ma leave a link in the description, you know, again to the Boston Clinic Facebook page. You click on it and uh the next award is already posted. It's for knockout a year. Got several candidates and you don't see the candidate that you want, it's another. other. Um just put your other in the comment section or whoever you want the for knockout of the year. And then I'll be dropping that video tomorrow about 4 or 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time or a little bit after that. But this was an excellent event. This was built up. Even though, in my opinion, it didn't live up to the hype, but it was impossible to live up to the hype. Um, probably because Canelo boxed the move, and I didn't think he could move and box that well. But it still was an excellent high-energy type fight in Vegas. It was a fight that was fitting for Vegas. It was an event that was fitting for Vegas. Um, the undercard wasn't good. It was supposed to have Danny Jacobs on it, but as an event, it brought it brought the stars out. Um, it's different from the fight of the year. Just the event of the year is like the glamour, the glitz, you know, you know, filling in the arena. The fight of the year can be, you know, some something in Boots Lick, Louisiana, some some uh, regular fight that was just an excellent fight you've seen, but an event that had all oh, a full arena, you know, brought out the top boxing guys, brought out the casuals, and you know, good pay per view. This was fitting, you know. I think. You know, personally, for me, it probably would have been Joshua and Klitschko because that was an amazing event, an amazing venue. But this one was in Vegas. I mean, it was on American TV at nighttime. You know, you know, it was big drama show versus Stone, Lead, Foot, you know, Canelo Alvarez and Canelo. And him putting on a, put on a beautiful display of uh, Cat and Mouse, you know, Boxer and Prey. And, you know, a lot of people say Canelo did run, but I thought he held his ground enough. And I think he had Triple G gunshot. But Triple G did his thing, and it was a draw. And I, I think that kind of took away from some votes because it was a draw. But most people had in their mind they had who most of the people thought Golovkin won. You know, me personally, I thought Canelo edged him out um, because, you know, hitting don't get hit, you know, and that's what Canelo did. And Golovkin didn't go balls to the wall. He didn't go all out. But, you know, it, it made for a better rematch, you know. I think it's going to make for an epic rematch. I think Golovkin knows what he want to do with Canelo this time. I think Canelo know what he want to do with Golovkin this time. And I just have a I just have a hunch that this fight is going to end in a knockout. And there won't be no controversy, God willing. And we get a clear-cut winner and both guys can move on with their career. Um, but, you know, Oscar did the damn thing here. He secured the bag. He stopped Conor McGregor and Floyd Mayweather from taking the date at the T-Mobile Las Vegas Arena. He secured the, the arena, the venue. It was better than it being in Dallas, contrary to what I be believed at first. It was better than it being at Dodger Stadium, better than being at MSG. This was a Vegas type of fight. You know, it had a Vegas type of feel, high rollers and everything. And if you want to know what's a Vegas fight, a Ve what's important about this Vegas fight is that you can upcharge because of the venue and, and the casino. And you have so many high rollers that's already there. You can add on more high rollers, mid or low ro rollers. I mean, the amenities are great in Vegas, and um, that's what makes Vegas sets it apart. So don't forget to go uh, click the link in the description to the, the Boxing Clinic Facebook page. Cash your vote for Knockout of the Year. Friday, we're going to end it with um, the Fighter of the Year. Um, sometime Friday morning or Friday afternoon, I post a question, and we announce it Friday night or Saturday morning or something like that. So get ready. Uh, we in the building. Shout out to everybody as we get ready to close out this year. We're going to close it out with a bang. We're going to.